What's going on YouTube? Mr. Wheels here bringing you another episode of Sports Talk and the topic tonight, Dion Phaneuf and his potential to be re-signed by the Leafs to a multi-year deal at the end of the 2013-2014 season. Now, it was reported a little while ago, I believe it was by Sportsnet, um, that Phaneuf is ideally looking for uh, $60 million and the Leafs uh, want to sign him or he wants to be signed to um, a six to seven year deal. Uh, but realistically, um, he would be looking at more of $50 million over those six or seven years. So I'm just going to go over some things about Dion Phaneuf um, and give you my take on whether the Leafs should sign him or not. Now, the reason why uh, he is considered to be worth $50 million is uh, he's currently playing about 23 plus minutes a game. He's a top four defenseman. Um, and since the 05 lockout, I do believe, nobody scored more goals than uh, Shea Weber. So I guess for a lot of people out there, they think Dion Phaneuf is an elite level defenseman. I don't feel exactly the same way. Um, Let's just go over some things here. Uh, in his in his entire career, Dion Phaneuf has only had one 20-plus goal season, or a season with 20, uh, 20 goals, and that was his rookie season. He scored 20 goals, and I know that's a lot for a defenseman, but uh, somebody worth $50 million, you'd think that they would be scoring 20 goals a lot more no matter what position they played. Uh, um, now, in his four season or four out of five seasons with Calgary, he had um, 20 plus assists, and his lowest assist total was uh, 12. And he was in double figures for goals the entire time that he was with the Calgary Flames. Now. The five years that Dion spent in Calgary, his numbers would would suggest that he is worth fifty million dollars. But he went to the Leafs, and let's not forget that one of the reasons why Calgary let him go, or the main reason why Calgary let him go, was because he wanted too much money, or he was going to be too much money for them to sign at the time. Now, uh. You know, since he's been in Toronto, he's been there almost five years, if you consider the um, about maybe a third of the year that he played with the Leafs when he first came over. Um, he has only had one season with 10 or more goals um, and 20 plus assists, and that was two years ago in 2011-2012, and he had 12 goals and 32 assists for 44 points. Currently, he has, this season, he has two goals and six assists after 20 games. And he, that puts him on pace for eight goals and 25 assists for 33 points. That is, of course, if he plays all 82 games. Um, now, for my true opinion on him, let's get into the reasons why he is not worth re-signing and not worth $50 million. First of all, it's already been said, he hasn't he hasn't really done enough in Toronto. Um, he was in double figures for goals and all of his time with Calgary. Hasn't even come close to that in Toronto. Um, He's going to be the laziest defenseman in the league since he's been with the Leafs. Um, he's a horrible skater, in my opinion. He's a, more of a skating pylon than Nikolai Antropov was when he was with the Leafs. And Leaf fans will all remember what Antropov was like. Um, from watching Phaneuf, I don't think he pinches at the right times. Um, Especially recently, there's been times where I thought, you know, he could pinch to keep the puck in the offensive zone, and he hasn't done it, and yet 
even last night watching him on the power play, it was Cody Franzen who was, you know, pitching at the right time, keeping the play alive on the power play. Fanoff is just kind of like a slug out there. Um, he he kind of seems like he's just kind of out of it and um, always got one hand on his stick and just kind of standing around. And I really don't think he's worth $50 million. Um, and, of course, when it comes to um, pinching at the blue line at the right time, um, we fans will remember... Uh, when last season in the playoffs, game four, he 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 does a bad picks a bad time to pinch and has a huge giveaway that leads to a, a goal and put the put the Leafs behind in that series. Luckily, they were able to come back and tie it up. But I mean, um, because of enough, they almost lost that series in less than seven games. Um, and let's not forget that it wasn't that long ago that the Leafs, like just before, prior to the season, the Leafs were looking at signing Nazem Kadri and Cody Frans into um, bridge contracts, and they were uh, there was reports out there that they the Leafs were having cap issues. So why would they go out and sign uh, Dion Phaneuf, who really hasn't put up the numbers? to a $50 million contract. It just doesn't make any sense. Um, given that they've already signed David Clarkson to $56 million over seven years, and David Bowen uh, to $36 million over like six years, Dion Phaneuf at most is worth maybe $25 million, maybe 25 to $30 million over five years. Nothing more than that. That would be more than fair given his numbers while he's been in Toronto. And, you know, if, look at it this way. I'll leave you with this. If every, if Dion Phaneuf is worth $50 million over seven years, then easily every other good defenseman in the league would have to be considered an elite level defenseman, and they're easily worth double if Phaneuf is worth 50. That's crazy that he's worth $50 million. Dion, no offense, you're not worth $50 million. You're not worth $60 million. I wouldn't even give you the six or seven years that you're looking, looking for. $25 to $30 million tops. That's if the Leafs sign them and all. I think they should trade them, get something for them. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, comment on whether Fanuff should be traded or... Um, sign to an extension. Like, comment, and sub subscribe, please. I can I can really use the support for my channel, and I will see you next time. Peace.